Hi there parents and students, uh, welcome to Curriculum Night. I'm going to make a video out of this in case you can't make it tonight or uh, or on Thursday night. So here goes, I'm going to do it as fast as I can to save you time. So here are some random pictures of me. I love fishing. This is my dog Sammy. This is me playing drums. I play with a bunch of bands, the Bend in the River Big Band, the Sticky Lifters, and about eight others. This is my family. Um, my dad is in the middle right here, and that's my mom. This is my brother and his wife. This is their two kids. This is my sister and her son. And that's me. Whoops. We've got uh, pictures of band camp. I love band camp. I've been going since sixth grade. Um, I think that's like close to 25 or 30 years, something like that. Uh, I teach drum set camps up in Bemidji and one in Eden Prairie. I love campfires and I love traveling to national parks. This is my wife up on a 2,500 foot cliff. We are making it a goal in our marriage to go to all the national parks. So um, it's going to be awesome. This is us getting engaged at the Dawes concert, which is one of our favorite bands. Um, this is us at the spot that we got married in Glacier National Park on Lake St. Mary. Um, we did a lot of camping that summer. We went out to Montana about three or four times that year. This was in the desert. I like watching movies with my friends. I like running half marathons. I like off-roading. And we like to eat healthy from our garden. This is a picture at our wedding, the rainbow and the waterfall. It actually happened, even though it looks photoshopped. This is our four-month-old son, Oscar, when he was born. This is him a few weeks ago. Then uh, this summer, we took him on a road trip. Uh, we went out west. We went to Great Sand Dunes National Park. We went to the Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Uh, we went to the Red Rocks Amphitheater for a concert. That was his first concert. This is his second concert. Don Henley at the State Fair. And here he is just being cute with our dog Sammy. So, curriculum night. What do we need to go over? Well, the biggest, most important things... In my opinion, probably the four things that you want to, that I would like you to pay attention to or um, uh, think about and consider. The first and most effective thing you can do for your student is to get them private lessons at some time in their music career. Um, you can check out the research, but a lot of it shows that that one-on-one -on -one attention with a professional is really the best thing that you can do for uh, a quick uh, growth spurt and getting a lot of stuff done in one year. Um, like I said, private lessons are, are the way to go when it comes to music. Uh, morning ensembles would be probably the second place most awesome thing you can do to get your kids to uh, perform in music well and to enjoy it. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Um, I would get involved in their practice time. Uh, maybe mix it up this year. Change where they practice. Change the whole setting. What time. Maybe split it up into two sessions. Um, have discussions about why they're practicing, what are their goals, and, uh, and what things they're practicing, how are they practicing, and who are they practicing with. Uh, and then finally, staying tuned to the emails that I send. I'll be sending a lot of YouTube videos about things, but just uh, really staying on top of the schedule and on, on top of their, their musical growth, if you can. Uh, some other things that will be coming soon for your students that you'll probably be hearing them talk about. We'll be getting new music um, tomorrow, and we will be working out of the Sound Innovations book, book two. Starting Friday, we'll have an instrument maintenance check so that you can keep those instruments um, worth the amount of money that you bought them for and, and keep them clean and well-oiled and working well. We'll be talking about player profiles, which is just a way for us to get to know each other's playing and for me to get information about how students play and what they're all about as players. And then performance assessments, which are kind of the final, uh, the final tests of how they're doing with their skills. Uh, and then the concert dates. We have three different concerts. The fall concert, the uh, winter uh, band festival in February, and then the spring concert May 25th. So that uh, district band festival is a new date that used to be in March on a Saturday. And it was all day Saturday. We've moved it to a Monday night. So that's a new thing this year. But those are the three seventh grade concert dates. And then Bandcamp uh, is the date is still up in the air. So I'll get that news to you as soon as it comes out. Uh, these are some pieces of information about me, my Instagram, my Twitter, my email, and I'm also on Facebook. You can check me out if you want to connect. 
Uh, this is a link to our band website, so if you zap this with your phone or your iPad or whatever device, you can get sent right to our band website. And then um, you probably already saw this, but I'm going over this during Curriculum Night 2, and this would be the ensembles information. I'm not going to read it to you because I've already sent a video about it twice, but we do have ensembles starting up next week. They meet once a week. These are some of the individual groups and the large groups, and um, you should definitely check it out. The kids feel a sense of community when they get involved with these groups. Uh, here's a breakdown of, of the different seasons in the fall. We have those three groups in the winter. We have symphonic band and pep band. And then in the spring, woodwinds and brass start back up. Jazz band and then percussion and drumline continue all year. So that is pretty much it. If you've already watched this video, you've seen all of this information. Um, it's a great opportunity. We can be... Um, as helpful as we can with any of the barriers to getting your students there, like carpooling and scholarships. So let us know if you have anything blocking you from uh, having your student participate. And um, I'm going to fast forward through some of this stuff because you've already seen it, but here's a nice list of all the instruments and what ensembles they could be in. We hope you get involved. It's a great way to meet people and rub shoulders with the older kids and professionals and to do lots of um, lots of performing and traveling and everything like that. So rehearsals start next week, except for pep band, which starts tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning. All right, hope to see you there. And uh, again, here's a video. If you had to miss curriculum night, we missed you, and we'll see you soon, hopefully.